Martha Stewart set to expose all Meghan Markle's hair-raising truths about fake pregnancy as Meghan Markle's surrogacy plot brought to light in controversial Martha Stewart documentary which will open Hamptons Film Fest with or without star. The Hamptons Film Festival is set to open this year with a bang, or perhaps a bombshell, as legendary lifestyle maven Martha Stewart premieres her explosive new documentary, Meghan's House of Mirrors. The film promises to lift the veil on Meghan Markle's private life and alleged surrogacy plot, exposing what Stewart calls Markle's hair-raising deceptions. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. The path to this controversial documentary began several years ago, when Stewart first took notice of the newly minted Duchess of Sussex. As Meghan's relationship with Prince Harry blossomed into a fairy tale royal romance, Stewart grew increasingly skeptical of the American actress's picture perfect public persona. There was just something that didn't sit right with me, Stewart recalled in a recent interview. The way she presented herself as this strong, independent woman, and yet she was so eager to give up her career and mold herself into the image of a demure, obedient royal bride. It didn't add up. Stewart's suspicions only deepened as Meghan's first pregnancy with Harry unfolded in the media glare. I watched that whole thing play out, and I'm sorry, but I just don't buy it, she said bluntly. The timing was too convenient, the pictures too perfectly staged, and something about Meghan's body language. She never quite looked comfortable, like a woman glowing with the miracle of new life. Determined to get to the bottom of what she believes is an elaborate ruse, Stewart spent the better part of the last two years doggedly investigating Meghan's past and conducting exhaustive research. The result is a searing, no-holds-barred documentary that promises to blow the lid off Markle's meticulously crafted public image. Meghan's House of Mirrors takes viewers on a journey back to Meghan's pre-royal days, meticulously tracing her rise from struggling actress to global celebrity. Through a series of interviews with former classmates, co-workers, and acquaintances, Stewart paints a portrait of a young woman laser-focused on achieving fame and success by any means necessary. Everyone talks about how Meghan was this strong, independent woman who fought her own battles, Stewart says in the film's opening voiceover. But the reality is much more complicated and much more sinister. The documentary alleges that even in her early days in Hollywood, Meghan was ruthlessly ambitious, willing to use her looks and charm to land increasingly high-profile roles and romantic connections. Former castmates from the TV show Suits describe a woman who was constantly angling for the spotlight, often at the expense of her co-stars. Meghan was always the first one on set, always the last one to leave, one former colleague recalls. And God help you if you tried to upstage her in a scene. She'd throw the biggest tantrum, demand retakes until she was the sole focus. Others paint a picture of a woman skilled at cultivating relationships with wealthy and influential men, using those connections to advance her career. Several interviewees claim Meghan actively pursued relationships with married actors and producers, sometimes even sabotaging their existing marriages in the process. She had this magnetic quality, this ability to captivate people, one ex-boyfriend is heard saying in the film. And she knew exactly how to use it to get what she wanted. But it's Meghan's alleged surrogacy plot that forms the centerpiece of Stewart's explosive documentary. Drawing on a series of bombshell revelations from unnamed sources, the film alleges that Meghan's much-celebrated first pregnancy with Prince Harry was, in fact, an elaborate ruse. Meghan was desperate to cement her place in the royal family, to solidify her status as a global icon, Stewart asserts. And what better way to do that than to present the world with a beautiful, healthy royal baby? The documentary claims that in the months leading up to the announcement of Meghan's pregnancy, the former actress allegedly pursued several failed attempts at conceiving a child through IVF. Faced with the possibility of being unable to bear an heir, the film alleges that Meghan turned to surrogacy as a solution. She found a woman who was the spitting image of her, someone who could carry the pregnancy and then seamlessly step into the role of the new mother, Stewart says ominously. And with the full weight of the royal PR machine behind her, Meghan was able to pull off this deception without anyone being the wiser. The documentary features interviews with several individuals who claim to have direct knowledge of Meghan's surrogacy arrangement, including a former employee of the fertility clinic where the embryo was allegedly implanted. Meghan was willing to go to any lengths to get what she wanted. 
the source is heard saying, she didn't care about the ethics, the legalities. All that mattered was the end result. And she was determined to have a baby, one way or another. The film also delves into the curious case of Megan's bodyguard, who abruptly resigned just weeks before the royal birth. People close to the situation say the bodyguard discovered the truth about Meghan's pregnancy and refused to be a part of the cover-up, Stewart reveals. As the documentary builds towards its climactic conclusion, Stewart makes a bold claim. That Meghan's subsequent pregnancies with Harry, including the birth of their daughter Lilibet, were also the result of surrogacy arrangements. The evidence is there, if you just look closely enough, Stewart asserts. The two perfect baby bumps the curious absences from royal engagements. Meghan has been playing us all for fools, and it's time the world knew the truth. The revelations in Meghan's House of Mirrors are sure to send shockwaves through the royal family and the public at large. But Stuart is adamant that the truth must be told, no matter the consequences. I know this is going to be controversial, that people are going to call me a conspiracy theorist or say I've got an axe to grind, she says, but I don't care. I've spent years researching this, and I'm confident in the validity of my findings. Meghan Markle needs to be held accountable for her deceptions, and I'm going to make sure the world knows the full, unvarnished truth.